So, in case you haven't noticed, there's been a lot of uh, drama going on regarding the autofocus on f um, Fujifilm cameras. Um, today we're going to be talking about the X-H2S specifically, um, comparing firmware 6 to the just released firmware 7. So the point of this video isn't to create more drama. Um, it's to compare different firmwares. Let's see if Fuji is uh, improving. Uh, I've been with Fuji since the X-T2, I've had the X-T3, the X-T4, the X-H1, X-100F. Now I've got the X-H2S. With each camera, I keep hoping for better and better um, continuous autofocus with video and with um, stills. Video is, to me is really where they lag behind with the pulsing and the uh, false positives and all that. Um, so I'm making this video, like I said, in hopes that there is an improvement to share the information um, and just to to see the results I get. Um, I'm not going to be uh, trying to purposely fudge the results as some people have been claiming, I would say as the Fuji fanboys have been claiming. Uh, I'm going to be using um, very basic settings. All right, so we're going to be using um, two, two different lenses today, the 18 millimeter 1.4, which is a linear motor lens, and the 33 1.4, which is also a linear uh, motor lens. We're going to be using um, the uh, default settings that come up as far as AFC goes, um, and we might mess a little bit with increasing tra um, tracking and slowing down speed. I've heard that works. These tests are going to be very simple. It's literally going to be uh, literally going to be me walking towards the camera at a normal pace and backing up at a probably slower pace than I was moving forward. So I, I shouldn't need to tweak to to spend hours, uh, you know, dialing in the perfect setting. This is uh, something that every other manufacturer, even Panasonic now, can do right out of the box. I've had you know plenty of Fuji cameras, like I said. I've had a lot of Canon cameras, um, 80D, 5D Mark IV. Um, I've had plenty of Sony cameras that currently have an A7R4. I've had, I have an A7S3. I had the A6400, A6300, A6000. These are all cameras. None of them required you to sit there and tweak and adjust, and it just worked out of the box. This is what I'm expecting at this point from Fuji. For one of their flagships camera uh, i believe twenty five hundred dollars uh, you know it should be there it should be there um so it, to me one of the things that i'm looking for is not just um face tracking eye tracking because i will have that's what we're going to have the camera on of course um but it's also that pulsing that i've always seen fuji um you know video do um again this is going to be firmware six we're gonna do a few tests with that, going back and forth between the 18 millimeter and the 33 millimeter, and then we're going to update to version seven. And I really hope to be seeing a difference because, um, I, quite honestly, I'm, I'm growing a little tired of uh, waiting for Fuji to to catch up to the competition. I don't even want them like as good as Sony at this point. I'd be perfectly happy if they were 75% of the way there. 80% would be great. Um, but they just haven't been so I let the work. let's see how it goes we're at the eight we're at the 18 millimeter straight out of box settings that's tracking plus two and speed at zero tell me when my feet show your feet are showing oh, okay. your whole body right, right, right.
All right, this is the 18 millimeter again. I've adjusted the tracking to four and I've reduced the speed uh, by negative two. All right, so we're on the 33 millimeter now at 1.4, of course, and uh, basic uh, settings, uh, tracking plus two, uh, speed zero. I'm switched to track and sensitivity to four and speed to negative two. All right, so firmware has been updated to seven. Uh, we're still on the 33, um, and we've got face detect on. And let's see how. Let's see if it's any better.
233, tracking set to 4, speed set to, ne set to negative 2. All right, so we're in the eight, on the 18 millimeter firmware set. All right, 18 millimeter face detection on, tracking plus four, speed negative two. That was it. I kept the test simple. I didn't. I don't think I pushed the limits of the camera at all. I was facing the camera the whole time. I didn't do the, you know, what happens if I turn kind of test. Um, you know, my demands for, for this sort of thing are, are very basic. Um, 
luckily, and I just feel like it's the kind of thing that that um, that should just work. Uh, I had a camera at this price point. Um, it's been out for quite some time now, and um, I guess I'm gonna go take a look at the footage and, and keep my fingers crossed. Okay. 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 Okay.